Hello, welcome to another Cleave Tech tech tip. I've got a slightly shorter tech tip for you today and we're concentrating on the rebuild of this motor. This was the motor that we removed from the slot stocks car that I'm rebuilding and putting back into action and hopefully it'll become a race winning car in the owner's hands. But in this week's tech tip, we're gonna focus on the missing part or one of the missing parts from this motor and that is the armature. So you now join me <clears throat> where I've got the armature in my hoodie com lathe. Now, so I've set it up and this is why it's very important that you make sure there is no solder or lumps, etc., on the shaft, because this shaft runs in these V blocks. You can also get hoodies where the shaft runs in uh, to bearings as well. But this, this is a version that runs in V blocks. So if the shaft is rotating, like this in V blocks and it has a lump on it, then the armature is gonna move around and then that's obviously gonna cause your comm to become out of true. So you need to make sure your armature shaft is nice and clean and free from all solder, etc. when you put it into your hoodie. So I've tightened that down onto there. I've got a ball bearing here that runs on the shaft at this end. <clears throat> Excuse my voice there, I just needed to clear my throat. But I'm now going to true the commutator and then see how large it is and whether or not there is actually any copper left once I've trued it up. If I bring this closer to the camera, you can see that it started to true up that com. You can turn it around there and you can see it started to take a little bit off, or a little bit more off of that segment than the others. So you can see the others are more pitted than that one there. So I'm gonna keep going until I've cleaned up each one of the three segments on the commutator. A few moments later. Now this is a second pass over the commutator so you can see now that one of the segments this one here is getting nearly cleaned up now but the others clearly are quite a long way away there's these divisions on the com lathe now well probably when i'm cleaning it up the first cut i probably take one notch at a time or one division at a time but then when you're getting close to the end you can probably take half a division at a time uh, to take off very, very small amounts. One eternity later. You should now be able to see that we're getting really close to finishing this come off now. In that that segment there is nearly done. That's probably the one of the worst segments. That one's nearly done. But I'm going to have to take it a little bit further to get rid of all of these bits around here or the burnt parts of the commutator so I do need to take a couple more cuts still to go a few inches later so the com is now cleared up pretty well cleaned up pretty well you can see there's not too much burning around the edges of the slots now the slots need a bit of a clean up which I'll show you in a minute when I remove it but I've got rid of all the burning around the com and the com is now going to run nice and true so here's a close look at the commutator after it's been trued up You can see that there's still a bit of copper inside these slots. Now, different armatures have obviously different copper on the uh, commutators, different brands of copper, different makes of copper, different compositions of copper, um, different purities of copper, etc. on the commutator. So you'll often find that armatures clean up differently or commutators clean up differently depending on what brand of armature it is. Um, this one's not so great in that it's pushed the copper right off the copper's probably quite soft on this one so to clean the slots up I'm going to take my knife and I'm very very carefully just going to run my knife down the grooves in the commutator and just clean up any of the copper 
that might have found itself down inside the groove. You've got to be very careful with this in that you don't score the commutator itself. Just clean up the copper that's got down inside the groove. Like that. Turn it round and I'll do the next one. And there we go. So I've cleaned the copper out of the grooves in each one of those com slots. There's a tiny bit there I can see now that I'm looking at it really close. So I'll give that another little bit of a clean. You can see that the edges of the com slots are now not great. You can see that where I've cleaned the copper up, there's a little bit of a rough edge. So I'm going to show you a little trick in order to fix that. Now the little trick to fix that is to take an old ballpoint pen, one that's run out, and then you can very carefully run the ballpoint pen along the comm slots like that. And it just cleans off the edges of the comm slot and the ball of the pen just radiuses them off ever so fractionally and takes off any burrs that were on the edge of the comm slot. But again, you have to be careful. You don't run over the comm itself because you don't want to put an indent actually in the comm itself, like that. Then you can see when it's done, you can see the edges are not that rough anymore. And they're nice and radiused on the edges. Not by too much, obviously, because you don't want to widen the comm slots, but you end up with a much better finish, as you can see there on the edges of your comm slots. It's not perfect, you can see, because the copper has still burnt away on the edges of the, of the slot a little bit, so the slots are not perfectly straight anymore. That happens after a while, unfortunately, as the copper burns itself away. Um, in the, the comm slots don't tend to be that accurate anymore. But I can't take it down anymore. I can't true the comm down anymore, otherwise there wouldn't be any copper left. But there seems to be a reasonable coating of copper all the way around the comm at the moment. So I think this armature is salvageable. Also, the other end of the armature, where the armature shaft has all been sort of ground away horribly here, I think there is enough armature shaft to put the pinion on properly when I've spaced the armature properly uh, in the setup to make sure that the pinion goes over that rough edge and straightens up nicely on the bit of shaft that is still quite good. So I think the armature is salvageable. So my next step is to pop that armature in an armature tube to keep it nice and safe like that and then I'm going to pop that in the post to my good friend Dave Harvey who's going to balance that armature up and send it back to me. So that's the armature packaged up or it's about to be packaged up ready to send to Dave Harvey for balancing. Um, he is my my belief the best balancer in the world. Um, if you did want to send anything to him I'll put his contact details down below in the video uh, in the description of the video um, he loves building motors, so contact him about motors. And he also stocks a huge amount of high-end slot car parts. So he's a great bloke to speak to if you want all the top-end um, BSCRA, ISRA style uh, slot car parts. Um, he's a brilliant stockist of those kind of things. So give him a contact, uh, So especially if you want your motors to be really fast. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. So I'm waiting for the armature to come back and then you can join me on the rebuild. Hit a big C if you haven't done so already and then that will keep you informed of all the new videos that are coming up. Hit the little bell icon down below, the little thing that looks like a little bell. That will keep you notified when I release new videos. Hit the thumbs up and the like button. Uh, that tells YouTube that you like my videos and you'd like to see more like that. Uh, it'll also push them out to more people who are interested in this sort of thing as well to get my uh, audience up. So I appreciate it if you do that. Again, comment. Let me know if you do know what type of Palmer 16D this is in particular. Comment below. Let me know. Or again, if you've got any experiences of rebuilding 16Ds, uh, let me know, please, in the comments below. So I will see you again soon. Remember, hit the big C. See my other videos around here. And I'll see you back in another tech tip very soon.